The longer it sits in my mouth, the worse it gets, but I don't want to swallow it. What's up, everyone? Welcome to True Food Reviews. I'm Mark. I'm Nick. And today we're looking at... Leeks. Now, I'm not actually sure if the pr plural of leek is leek or leeks, if we got a moose fish situation here. I don't know. Uh, I'm not a linguistics professor. Leeks sounds correct to me, so I'm going to keep saying it. All right. Well, Nick's got some fun facts that he's going to read them. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I can read. I'm literate. All right. Here we go. The botanical classification of the leek is Allium amphelophrasum varporum, and it is from the family Allium, as in the family of onions, which is not altogether surprising because it kind of looks like a spring onion. And not altogether exciting, given our past experience with onions. Yeah, be sure to check out that video if you haven't already. Uh, the leek is embedded deeply in Welsh culture. Uh, all the our friends in Wales, this, this episode's kind of dedicated to you in a way. And we thank you. Yeah, thanks for tuning in. Likely stemming <clears throat> from the legend of Welsh soldiers wearing the vegetable in their hats to differentiate their foes from the enemy, the Saxons, in 640 AD. Which makes sense to me because I feel like... That's a big hat though. How big are Welsh hats? Uh, I mean, I hope our Welsh fans write in and with some pictures of their yeah. hats. Because this is, like you say, it would take a big hat to put this in, but it's a good idea because I feel like in the middle of a battle, well saxon It's kind of like leak, leak, no yeah, leak. Yeah, yeah. You know, like there's going to be a lot of white dudes with beards, let's be honest. Absolutely. Uh, leaks were also popular in ancient Egypt, so it's not just the Welsh. And Roman and the Greeks got involved too. And Emperor Nero, who's known for being like a, just a terrible guy, believed they had positive enhancements on one singing voice. And I think that that was probably based on nothing. And uh, it was a rather stupid belief, <coughs> I guess. I think you're right. Leeks are very high in vitamin K and manganese, vitamin A and C, as well as many others. Too many to name, you know, your time is valuable. We're not gonna go through all of them. The all last right. fun fact I want to add, which was not in the script that was given to me uh, by our producers is that uh, the leak is also the preferred weapon of the Pokemon Farfetch'd, who, uh, that is, that is, who is one of the stupider Pokemon to ever exist, but you could, I, you could trade but some. But it's, it's an important historical fact. Yeah, it's, a, it's, you know, it's, I think when people think about leaks, they think about Farfetch'd. <clears throat> All right, well, hopefully it's not, it's not, it, it's not too far-fetched of an idea that this, uh, will be disgusting. So, how do you want to approach this? Are you going to go for the green, leathery, rubber tip? <laughs> Or are you going to go for the white, leathery, rubber base? I think I'm going to take a tip leaf first, kind of munch on that for a second, get a feel for it, and then just start biting this like corn on the cob. Okay, let's get into right. it. Would you describe this as edible, what you're eating right now? <coughs> oh, it hits you. It hits you. <laughs> oh, it's got a, oh, it's a, hay, it's a haymaker. Okay. So, that is a bad piece of plant. <laughs> so what we've got here is a flavor very similar to those who, oh. have, who have had a green onion. It's not as strong as a white or a, you know a Spanish onion, a yellow cooking it's onion. It's pretty strong. But, but not as strong. I should mention we have not done a review of green onions. Um, we, we consider those to be fairly commonplace. Mm. So um, I think I have all the information I need from the green tip. I'm gonna take one more bite. Yeah, it's bad. It's pretty much. I, I don't know. I was surprised how strong it was because it did. It looked like maybe yeah. this is the part that you would discard and that the you would kind of keep this base here. I um, when I first looked at the leaf part, I assumed it would taste like nothing. So, I thought it yeah, would taste like just a, a leaf. leaf off of a plant, and it would kind of be a waste of time. It, it wasn't a waste of time because we learned something, and we learned that it is terrible up there. I think, I think it's gonna be even worse down I here. I think what I'm gonna do is gonna take the True Food Reviews official knife, and I'm actually gonna just cut off. The, the the whole bottom of my uh, of my stock here before I bite into it just so you can see oh it's got an interesting yellow in the middle that I didn't expect it's got a really nice color gradient kind of looks like an avocado in there yeah well I imagine with that many layers that um, there's gonna be a lot of flavor um, whether that's <laughs> the kind of flavor I want to experience um, remains to be seen. So let's just take a bite. You're gonna go at it Cobb style? I'm, t I'm terrified, to be honest. I have a lot of reservations about <clears throat> this, but I really care about you guys at home and gals, um, International Women's History Month. Shout out to March. And uh, this is for all the ladies. I assume this will be bad.
Whoa, it gets stronger. It's, it got stronger the last. <laughs> oh boy. You know, like, oh, that ad campaign for like, it gets better for kids with bullying. Like, I feel like this plant is the exact opposite. Like, it gets worse. The deeper you it are burns. in this, it burns. It, Oh, 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 it's because it has that green onion aspect to it, but it's bitter, but it's so bitter and it's so powerful. It's like, <coughs> it's like some kind of Chinese food that's a mistake. Like it's that they left in the kitchen too long or they like, there's just some kind of grievous error that has taken place with this. It is, it is downright nasty. Well. There's no point prolonging the inevitable. I think it's we're ready to give it a grade. Ugh. Oh, oh, I keep keeping it down and getting it in. This is tough. a hard. <laughs> this is a hard F minus minus. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. Maybe even the hardest. It, I, mean, I don't know for sure, but it might be the worst. <laughs> I know that we have a fair bit of pull in the produce community, and I don't want the leak lobbyists to come after us. I don't want. Come, come at me. Come, at, like this is a horrible product. I agree, but here's the: if I can offer some constructive criticism, you've made your product so dense in the bottom here, with so many layers that nobody is going to eat this. At the no. most, I could see someone maybe peeling off one little layer and adding it to a salad or a stew. But to just to have it concentrated like this, it's just it's irresponsible. And then, look at this weird stringy. Ah, it's almost like it's forming it's, like a, its own saliva. It, yeah, it's like a sickly disease sap. I don't I don't know how to describe it. Like it's a diseased plant and we're eating its horrible sap that is it, it's a poison. Is it safe to say that you're giving it an F minus? I'm giving it an F minus minus. All right, well that's all for this episode of True Food Reviews. I'm Mark. Remember, I'm Nick. Remember that I'm Nick. But also remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Mm, yeah. That's a big milestone we're working towards this week. If we get if we get to 16 million subscribers, we are going to invite everyone who has ever um, subscribed. Oh, we're going to invite all the subscribers to a huge party where essentially we're just going to be eating vegetables. We're going to take over a park and it's going to be awesome. That's going to be, you know, I don't use this word lightly, but it's going to be wild. It's going to be wild. It's going to be raucous. It's going to be like the park's going to be rocking. I will say this. If we get to 18 million John Legend may or may not be there. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that would be a huge bonus. I think you guys agree. You're all big John Legend fans. We're John Legend fans. And I know for a fact that John Legend is a fan of ours. So let's just make that whole loop closed and uh, let's do it. The longer it sits in my mouth, the worse it gets. But I don't want to swallow it. Oh, God.